Everybody needs somebody, someone to love. It was good, it's your boy, man. Formerly known as Sammy, we push in the building. We got Bow Wow in the house. My man Lil Zane, <laughs> Lil Wayne, Sammy sing to me. It's Pat is dope, and I'm here with. Yeah, Lee Bush in the building. What's poppin', boy? What's good, man? You already know we we met up, we did our thing in that lady yeah. and stuff like that. But I want to know who is Lee Bush. Um, you know, most people know me by Sammy, of course, from I like it, crazy mm -hmm. things I do for love. Hardball, right, come with mm -hmm. me. You should be my girl. Kiss me through the phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you still eating off all those tracks? Because I forgot, <laughs> I forgot it was so many. That's like yeah, what? I got about six, six seven uh -huh. um, commercial hits under my belt, man. I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. I also co-wrote Next Breath for Tank uh, in 2012. Okay. Off his last album with number one, Urban AC. Uh, I move on the low. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, like you said, have to be reminded. When we in the era too, it's about like the now, you know what I'm saying, so that you have to kind of bring them up to speed, but Lee Bush is just an expansion of Sammy, um, I'm 27 now, so as I go into adulthood, I felt it was time to do something different, um, expand the brand, you know what I'm saying, I don't never want my people to forget what I've achieved as a kid, star, but, you know, um, Lee Bush is just that fresh, clean slate, man, and um, we released the first debut project, the Lee Bush project on iTunes in mm -hmm. October of last year. How does that go? I um, mean, we debuted in the top 10, and that's independent, like, I'm not even signed, you know what okay. I'm saying, so that just showed that my fans is really, really real, and they grew up with me, and I'm forever grateful for that. All right, so we here BET, wrap it up, yeah. Washington, D.C., you been on the campaign for how many years, 10? Man, almost 10 years, mm -hmm. eight, uh, nine years right now, since I was uh, 18. Mm -hmm. um, it's very dear to me because, uh, as I shared with the youth out there, I um, buried my auntie last year. Mm -hmm. She died from AIDS. Um, okay. My uncle, about seven years ago now, maybe a little longer, he died from AIDS. And I have two more relatives, unfortunately, suffering from HIV, the virus. Um, some was sexually transmitted, of course. Others mm -hmm. was injection, you know what I'm saying? I, um, it, it's real, you know what I'm saying? So when I come to the school, I try to come to them not as Lee Bush, the mm -hmm. artist, or Sammy, the artist, more so like a peer or their high school classmate that they can relate to. Because, you know, they see us on TV and think that we're not real human beings. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like them. So I just want to encourage, you know, the youth to get tested, mm -hmm. know their status. STDs are real. Um, HIV and AIDS is real. And, you know, if I can say what life the mission is accomplished, so I'm happy to be a part of the campaign and do that. Most definitely. So let's talk where you was at now, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, I'm in ATL, man. Shout out to LA. What are you working on right now in Atlanta, Georgia? Besides music, because you, you, uh -huh. like you do the campaign, you right. doing music. What else are you doing? Um, I'm working on a book um, called Good to Know. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been putting up little posts on Instagrams, and a lot of girls, quote unquote, you know, feel as though I have it together as far as just not necessarily no love guru, but I've been through a lot um, in relationships, some good, some bad. I've been mm -hmm. an awesome boyfriend. I've been a terrible guy. So uh, I wanted to put that in a book for our generation because it's a different world. You got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know what I mean? And the world is that much smaller. Those girls, is easy to access. Those fellas that these girls want, is easy to access. So we need to speak for that. And I don't think that um, females should think like a man. I don't think that men should think like women. I think mm -hmm. we should simply understand one another and just how different we are. So I'm working on Good to Know. That's the name of the book. It'll be done um, before the end of the year. So I'm excited about that. Well and um, back to the music tip, uh, the Lee Bush Project 2 is in the works. Yes, yes. It started off as an EP, but um, the material is so amazing and it needs more than four to six records. So it's actually going to be an LP. And I'm, I'm excited to release that also. Who, who's on it? Who are you working with on that? Production? Um, from shout out to SK. If you're not familiar, do your research. He just did some joints. He did Porn Star for August Alcina. Okay. He did some joints for Marion. He did some joints for Trey Songs mm -hmm. on a Trigger album as well as Ready and Anticipation, that whole sound. Um, to my man Spins, um, Mark the Mogul, Troy Taylor, that song book official. You know, mm -hmm. um, who else worked on the joint? Oh, my producer himself, Doughboy. Uh, he did Free Falling, which was like a fan favorite off the part one. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I reached out to Tiana Taylor, so be looking forward to a duet real soon from me mm -hmm. and TT. Man, I'm, I'm a big fan of her, you know what I'm saying? I think that just for her to have the following with no album after all these years is real dope. So uh, she's actually mad talented and can dance and all that stuff. So me and Tiana's gonna get in the studio. Um, I got something with Trey mm -hmm. already, um, although we've done some stuff on mixtapes and whatnot. But um, it's looking good. I'm gonna reach out to two chains on this little record I just knocked out last week and see if we can make that happen. Most of Let's get back to the transition from Sammy to Lee Bush. Yeah. 
was it stressful? Was it hard? Was it depressing? Was it like, you know, I have it and I had it and, and, and y'all forgot about me? So, it, it, you know what? You live in an era where it's easy to be forgotten. Okay. Yeah, that's just what it is. And me, like, I've been through things that, like, my fans really don't know and it's not even enough to compile in a minute conversation. But, you know, I got an ex-manager who won't let go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, who's been trying to stop me for years now, counting. Okay. Um, so when you're fighting that off the scenes and litigation and lawyer fees and taking care of your crib and helping your mom and your siblings, like, that stuff people don't see. Yeah, that yeah. stuff that I've never tweet about and never Instagram about. I've never been a man of excuses. So the transition has been as smooth as I can ask it to be. Mm -hmm. um, still doing shows overseas as well as in the States. And, like, debuting top ten on iTunes on your indie is, is a great thing. I'm out there. And I remember, like... It was it was a surreal feeling for me because I remember John Legend drive Tamar Braxton was up there TLC Greatest Hits or something like that and then you got the Lee Bush Project with no single on the radio no 106 in part no love stuff. no MTV jams look so you know that speaks volumes so I'm just so happy that we got the internet and I'm glad my fans understand like what I'm doing and how I'm rebranding but it's not it's not it hasn't been a stressful thing at all mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stressed less these days actually. Most up. Last question. We're going to go to the Instagram and the females. Yeah. Do you think Instagram, social media are degrading female stock and, and, and to be a woman? For, for people like me and you, right. to, to want a wife, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's making, to me, Instagram and, and all these social media is making women look like less respectable. It's a, it's, a, it's a concoction of the music, mm -hmm. visuals these days, of course, Twitter, um, um, Instagram likes. I think what people do for likes is funny, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you like it and you keep it pushing, you scroll to the next girl that's doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not against twerking, I'm not against none of that, but uh, social media put, I guess, into perspective how much people are lacking love and attention, because that's what we're doing it for, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's what they're doing it for. Um, me, I try to convey my spiritual side, my music, and my silliness, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I'll never do nothing that's going, you know, just, uh, I guess, cross my integrity, you know what I'm saying? I'll never do that. But I definitely will say the way that women are portrayed more so than ever is in a degrading manner, you know what I mean? And um, what women need to understand is they control that, though. Most you know what I'm saying? You can't blame it on music, can't blame it on the male species. They're doing it, and guys are liking it. You know, they like that they're getting the attention from it, so they continue to do it. So I will say that more so than ever in our era, women are being degraded, and I, they're accepting that. It's not even degraded no more. It's like, yeah, this, this is normal. This is what it is. It's a society nowadays. You know yeah, 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 yeah. And times change, you know what I'm saying? I'm 27, so I'm not like no old head or nothing to the point where I don't get it. Mm -hmm. But I also understand that women control it. You know what I'm saying? We, we People do what you're allowed them to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So What's if you allow guys to call you... TCH, then that's what it is. And now it's okay. You know what I'm saying? If twerking gets you a thousand likes, I mean, I don't know how it's beneficial financially or nothing like that, but if likes is what you live for, yeah. then, you know, that's what people campaign. So I will say we're definitely in a different time. That's dope. Definitely. It's Pat is dope. I'm here with Lee Bush, yeah. man. Shout out to everybody. Lee Bush Project coming when? June, July, August? We dropping a uh, single in July. Okay. So we're looking for that. And then uh, the fall, I'm going to take over again. That's really when I like to drop my music. Uh, seems to fit well around that season. Yeah. Um, follow me on my social network, Mr. Lee Bush. That's M R L E I G H B U S H. Shout out to the following too. Yeah, yeah we got a nice little following. Yeah, it's real, know, it's real authentic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't have to buy no followers or nothing like that. <laughs> they, uh, I, I'm so blessed for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The fans that grew up with me from the ages of 12 to now, from 99 and beyond. You know what I'm saying? We still rocking, and I'm getting better still. So I appreciate the love, and um, the best is yet to come. Lee, that. Shout out to that.